Hi everyone, welcome to uh, the next question of Tune Challenge. So today's question is delete node in a linked list. So the question states you are given a function to delete a node and you are given ex access to that node only. So you are not providing any access to the head. So let's say I have a list, linked list, let's say 4519 and I am provided the node 5. So I am I am provided the node 5 here so I need to delete this node so my new node should be 4 1 and 9 let's look at the constraints of the problem it says that the linked list will at least have two elements so that's good all nodes will be unique okay values will be unique because that's important the given node will not be the tail and it will always be a valid node of the linked list okay and do not return anything from your function okay so let's look at the approach uh, how we can solve this so let's say I have nodes 4 5 1 9 right so this is our linked list this is how it looks and we are given only access to this list um, this node 5 now how do we remove this if we don't have access to the previous node generally if we had access to this node what we can do directly we can like let's say this node is a right and if you want to delete node b we can simply do a dot next is will be equal to b dot next right that's it one line and so this will directly link to this and we remove this but that's not the case here because we are provided only B so how do we go ahead with this problem um, so one thing we can do here is the hint provided here is that all the values are unique and uh, the node to be deleted will never be a tail node right so in that case what we can do when we am at node B I can start traversing in the forward direction and I can keep, uh, 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 you know, you can pasting the values of the next node to the current node. So let's say I need to remove node B. Now what I can do, I, when I'm standing at B, I can copy this value one to five. So now my no node list becomes like this one. And then I move to one and then I copy nine from to it. And then I come here nine. And then when I'm at the last node, I just delete it, right? So deleting the last node so this is my approach now let's say in case of head as well I just keep iterating forward keep copying the values of my next node and um, at the end of the day when I reach the tail node I delete it right so let's look at the code to understand the problem and we don't need to return anything so we just need to do everything in place um, I can take two nodes one would be this node um, uh, temp1 will be our node and this node temp2 will be our node dot next right now we know that there will be at least two elements so when i am at reaching at a spot where my temp2 dot next where is null that means i have reached the end and i don't need uh, to move forward and i just could set the node dot next to null so I can do something like this while temp2 dot next is not equal to none. I copy values of node of temp2 to temp. So temp1 dot val temp2 dot val and then I just move forward next when I reach the end I just set temp1 dot next is equal to null that's it and my code is done let's run it on the example and see what do I get I get 411 okay so in this case um, I copy this here I copy this so I guess I need to do this yeah because I need to copy 9 as well and then I should set
so when i'm at 5 my temp1 is at 5 right temp2 is at 1 now i copy one here and my temp1 become this temp2 becomes this my temp2 is not equal now similarly as soon as i copy this here so yeah so this nine i need to remove this nine as well so what i can do here is um because what is happening i need to copy this value so let's say okay, the next is fine but i do one last time and then i and then i sorry and then i uh, make it null so that works let's submit it and see how it goes awesome it got accepted hope you guys enjoyed this question uh, it was pretty simple to solve if so please uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up thanks everyone